caution. The video you are about to see involves real-life carp being caught in the winter. This is not a pointless video about blanking. Welcome to the Winter Diaries Part 2. You join me at Ireland's most prolific carp venue, the Loch in County Cork. This lake is an urban lake and is well known for its fish from about three pounds right up to a fish known to fluctuate between 24 and 26 pounds. This lake is known for having a huge biomass of fish for the size of the lake, but it can be a very, very tricky venue in the winter. This trip took around four hours from Belfast. You join us for a 48 hour session in which we experience all four seasons from summer right through the winter weather, snow, rain and hail, with bivvies being battered left, right and centre, with the wind blowing a hoolie right down the lake. So sit back, relax and enjoy seeing some winter fish being put on the bank. Okay, so just running you through the spots. If you look to the far side, there where I'm zooming now, I've got one between the two trees there, about 22, 23 wraps out. And then now, if you can see the green, uh, it's a net bin there, just as the car is about to pass right now. I've a rod to the same distance there. And then the third rod, there's a bus shelter there, just in front of the red car that's parked. That's where the third rod is, and they're all about the same sort of distance. Now Dad, he's got the, the rods down there, he has one to the island, he's one to the wee bush there, but on open water, and then one again, uh, just in open water there, good enough uh, distance from me, and uh, Greg's just arrived there and he's putting up the old uh, bivvy, hoping to get in on the action. There's a fella there down, uh, James, that I just met for the first time, he caught 17 uh, I think it was 17-2 or something in, in against the boys there um, and that was his Irish PB so well done to you James as well but as you can see the weather just keeps changing conditions it keeps going from 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 good to bad but we're here to catch a few fish so let's hope the evening brings something better as I say it's a, it's a lovely mild evening as you can see from the water behind me there it's a, it's a nice night so hopefully we'll end up with a few more fish anyway on the bank the weather has been so hit and miss. We've had rain, we've had hail, we've had sleet, we've had snow. Uh, the unhooking mat and the uh, net had icicles in it as well there this morning. And the fish have been freezing. Now the last one there, he was more active. Uh, the rest have been very lethargic. So hopefully a few more fish uh, on the on the bait and uh, a bit more active as well to give it a, keep, keep it interesting anyway. But we'll keep you posted throughout the evening. And if we'll get anything else, hopefully we'll get something on camera to actually see the rum. Alright, catch you in a bit. We're doing a bit of urban carping here in the lock in County Cork. It's Winter Diaries episode 2. Um, we've been here about 20 hours, 22 hours. During the night there, I've had four fish. Um, 13, 14 being the biggest. I had one at 12, 2. 11.4 and uh, common it didn't weigh around about £9. So a good start to the winter uh, in this venue so far. My dad he lost one there this morning so it's it's uh, only just begun and we've already had a few runs so we're here for a couple of days so hopefully we'll end up uh, with a few more. As I said the weather hasn't been great but uh, the temperatures went up yesterday to about 7 or 8 degrees so hopefully uh, we'll get a few more.
13 pound 14. He took off a bit better, didn't they? They like sulking in against that wall. Well, it's 20 to 5 on a wet um, Thursday afternoon, or evening, should I say, and I've just put back a common of £13 on the nose. Um, really unexpected, as all the other bites were right through the night, the early morning. That was on the size 4 uh, ace hook there with the, the uh, essential cell set up as a runny rig. Uh, give a really good account of itself as well. That's the, the best scrap of a fish now uh, from this entire session. It's very, very good. Um, most of the fish have came off the bank tackle uh, continental size 6 hooks which are absolutely brilliant. I used the ace continentals for a few years and then as you know they went uh, belly up and no longer make them and I, I was stuck because I was down in my last few packets and I contacted the guy Dexy from Bank Tackle and asked him about them and he actually sent me a few samples um, for free and then I put in an order for a couple of packets of them and they're dirt cheap and to be honest they're great and they sharp well with the, sharpen well with the Jag gear as well so an absolutely brilliant uh, hook as it came to fill them, I've just had a beep there on the right hand rod. Um, that's the rod that's had four of the six fish, so we're up to six now. Two, uh, just under ten, nine pound odds. One at eleven, um, a twelve pounder and two thirteens, the biggest being thirteen pound fourteen ounces. So it's been good. We're about 44 hours in the 48 hour session, so I'll be leaving in the next three or four hours, getting ready for the four hour journey back to Belfast. Um, it's been great. Now, I've had the six runs. Uh, my dad, he's had two runs, but uh, hasn't landed any of them. Unfortunately, he's uh, fishing tight to an island, and he suffered a couple, a couple of hook pulls there, being locked up. So it's been good. The weather here has been so hit and miss. We've woke up this morning to the net being completely frozen to the ground. The the way sling being froze as well. So that's why I'm just enjoying now a, a cup of coffee. Toby's trying to eat the Oreos. So it, it, it went well anyway, um, I can't complain. It's been loud because there's been kids about day and night, that's the, the problem we hear, they're on the swings, they're throwing things, they're getting on, so it's been an interesting session alright, but the, the key to this has just been staying warm. And again, I've had uh, two of the fish on the runny rig with the size 4 ace curved shank hook, and then four fish on the bank tackle size 6 continental hook and they are a, a brilliant hook. I mean they're super strong. As I said before they're just very very similar to what uh, Ace made before they went bust and you can get similar ones from Carp Spirit now but they're they're a much more expensive hook. Um, bank tackle I think it's something like 250 for 10 or something like that ridiculous you know works out about 25p a hook which is nothing and I'm getting roughly about four runs out of a hook and I'm really really particular about the hooks if I notice them going dull at all um, I'll decide whether I want to, want to sharpen them or most of the time with the price of them I just take another hook out of the packet and they're usually 99% uh, of the time sharp enough to use straight from the packet you know they're great hooks and I've been getting good hook holds here um, I haven't dropped the fish funny enough with those continental hooks I've dropped very little fish this last two seasons so it's it's uh, been going very very well just dread the pack up now and the, the journey back to Belfast, that's the worst bit. But it's been it's been comfortable, you know, I've barely watched any movies because I've been that busy uh, sorting things out with the fishing. Fishing roughly about 
22 wraps out so it's a, a decent old distance to drag the fish back and to be honest uh, most of them have been quite lethargic and give themselves up quite easy. Two of the fish though, one of the smallest fish and the biggest fish funny enough, uh, they put up good scraps so let's hope before I go home and pack to the, the, the pack down that there might be another fish on the bank. Here's hoping.